Hey guys, Croft is here. Spider-Man Homecoming is definitely one of the best Marvel movies and it presents Spider-Man in a way that we've never seen before. A junior high school Spider-Man and fortunately we don't get to see the origin story once again. Spider-Man Homecoming is the 16th film in the MCU and has two post credit scenes. I hope you'll have patience as we go through them because there are quite a bit of things to talk about. The first post credit scene potentially sets up a villain for a sequel, Spider-Man Homecoming 2, which has been confirmed by Marvel to be released in July 2019. The second post credit scene may be the best post credit scene in the MCU, and although many people thought that it was a joke, I think it potentially indicates that MCU is becoming self-aware, but more on that later. Let's start with the first one that opens up in jail where the villain of the movie, Adrian Toomes or Vulture, is being held. In prison, he meets Michael Mando, who played another Marvel villain, Mac Gargan, aka Scorpion. Mac was involved in a black market deal that was happening earlier in the movie between him and Vulture. This deal never got closed because Spider Man stopped them and Scorpion and his people ended up in jail. In the post credit scene, Scorpion has a scar on his face that he received during the deal. And he says to Vulture, this scar is not on you, it's on Spider-Man. Scorpion knew Vulture in the past and he asks if Vulture could figure out Spider-Man's real name so that his friends from outside can take him down. After a pause, Vulture responds, if I knew, he would be dead. There's a couple of things that this dialogue means. First of all, the friends that Scorpion is referring to are most likely gonna become the Sinister Six in the next Spider-Man movie that takes place after the Infinity War. There might be a few reasons why Vulture doesn't give up Spider-Man's identity to Scorpion. It's possible that he wants to kill Spidey by himself, not allowing anyone else to do it. Or because Spider-Man saved his daughter's life, so Vulture has some kind of a moral code and deep down he understands that Spidey is just a kid. In Spider-Man Homecoming 2, we'll probably see Oscorp since the Avengers Tower is being sold and it's possible that Oscorp is gonna buy it, so this way we're gonna be introduced to the Green Goblin. Let's dive into the second post credit scene, which many people thought was just a joke and Marvel trolling their fans, but I think there is also another meaning to it. The scene was a public service announcement video by Captain America, where he says, I am Captain America, here to talk about the most valuable trait of someone who wants to become a soldier or a superhero, and it is patience. Sometimes it leads to victory, other times it leads to very little. After hearing this, in the post credit scene, the audience wonders why they waited so long for something that's not worth it. When he says patience, he's making fun of post credit scenes themselves, in a way that people have to patiently sit through the credits expecting something big, but instead getting something disappointing. After the patience line, Captain turns to the director and asks, how many more of these do I have? There is a darker meaning to it since Kevin Feige announced that by the end of Phase 3, after two Infinity War movies, it would be the end for some of the main characters that possibly are gonna die. So when Cap says, how many more of these I got, he can tease the idea that maybe Captain America is not gonna survive the Infinity War and how many more more movies with Captain we're gonna see. But he may also be joking about Marvel producing so many movies that at some point it's gonna end. Obviously, the second post credit scene makes fun of the audience, but it also breaks the fourth wall and suggests that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is becoming self-aware. And it's kind of a natural thing for superhero movies at this point, since it's literally impossible to ignore how absurd and ridiculous these movies are compared to reality. Superhero movies became pop culture knowledge, and I think it's cool that they included this scene. Since Spider-Man Homecoming did not have any teasers for the Infinity War, post credit scenes in Thor Ragnarok are probably gonna be related to Thanos and the Infinity War. 
Have you guys seen Spider-Man Homecoming already? If yes, tell me your thoughts below and thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.